Hi guys, today we are again on our San Diego office and we're going to show you how to install a Bixby J2 motor on a pedal drive adapter. So very simply, you're going to be able to replace your pedal drives this way with a Bixby motor. So we're going to teach you how to do that. Again, with most of our adapters, minimal tools. So our goal is to get you guys on the water without having to modify your kayak, without having to mess around too much. So the only thing you need is a Phillips screwdriver, some sort of an adjustable wrench, and scissors or something to cut with. And I lost my zip ties because it's very windy today in San Diego. So here we go. I'm going to show you the, the J2 uh, outboard kit. When you receive your kit, it's going to come like this in a box like so. And inside we have our beautiful quick start guide, which is, I encourage you to read, please. Um, you'll find all kinds of nice hints and ways to take care of your device. Uh, we have our outboard battery, charger, remote, kill switch with a small Allen key that we're going to use to take off the shroud today and I'll show you how to do that. And of course we have our J2 motor, a remote, and underneath the remote you're going to get some nuts and bolts and a small bottle of dielectric grease and we'll show you how to use all of that today so um, here we go i'm going to grab our motor and install the motor on to our pedal drive adapter here we go so we got our adapter out of the box guys the first thing you'll notice is you do have a reduced shroud that's on this adapter and we zip tie this so it doesn't get lost in the packaging and get thrown away accidentally and um, take that shroud off uh, you're going to need this reduced shroud on a lot of the Hobie kayaks and especially the inflatables that have a slightly tighter opening for their uh, pedal drive. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace the regular shroud on the motor with this reduced shroud. And you'll see that that will allow us to be able to get the motor into that opening a lot more easily. Uh, now, this is not necessary in all the kayaks. I know on the Vibe, um, for instance, on the Vibe adapter, uh, you can put the full motor in there and you'll get it through with no problems. Uh, but you will need that shroud on the Hobies, on the inflatables, and uh, even on the Pelican, I believe. So we had our little Allen key that came with the kit. So we're just going to open these three screws that hold the shroud together. We're going to use the same screws and you'll notice there's a pattern on here and there's only one way this shroud will fit on that motor and that's with the two closer holes on the bottom and the single hole on top so we'll get that on there you really can't go wrong with this it's, it's quite simple and don't tighten the screws uh, one at a time i should have put them in there loosely and then give them a tightening at the very end. We don't want to over tighten these so we don't end up breaking something but we do want to give them a good good snug push at the end okay so now we've got our motor with the reduced shroud so that is now uh, no longer the thickest part of the motor so now it's going to be able to get into that Mirage drive uh, the next thing to do is now to attach our Mirage adapter or fin adapter in to our standard attachment so like with all the other adapters we have that slides right on there okay and those nuts and bolts that were sitting under the remote control, this is when they come in handy now. There's four bolts that go in there.
So we do want to tighten these nuts and bolts because we don't want any accidents where these may come off in the water. And again, only hand tools, then there's no need for, uh, for power tools at all at, at this point. Uh, we are dealing with all plastic parts, so we don't want to end up damaging or breaking anything, but we do want to get these nuts and bolts nice and tight. That's pretty much it, guys. So now we have our adapter, our motor is on there. Now, unlike our previous adapters, the new J2 motor has the wire running off to the side on all the adapters. So you'll see your wire sticking out here and we do have these really nice little clips that we use to secure those wires on to the pipes so then you don't have them kicking around. So the way these work are very simple. You put this on your wire and you slide one of these zip ties right underneath that hole. You'll see it come out the other side. And once you're through, you can put that onto your pipe. You can make that nice and tight. And of course, you can cut off the extra. And you can put one or two of these on here. Two will make it nice and secure and the wire will be nicely out of your way. And there we go, that's it guys. We have now a replacement for our pedal drive in the form of a J2 motor. Now the wire in all of the kayaks, there's always enough room to run the wire off to the side and have it come out uh, at somewhere along your, uh, your kayak. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna show you how this goes into your drive and why the pipe is as long as it is. So uh, we get asked this all the time, does this pipe have to be this long? It does, and the reason it has to be this long, you'll see in a second, is because of the way it goes into the Mirage drives. So come on over here, and the easiest way to get this in there is to have the motor go in back first and into the drive adapter. And again, you can see the wire just comes off the side. There's plenty of room there for the wire to clear and come out. And that's how this works. Taking the adapter and the motor out is just as easy. You just unclick the way you would with your uh, pedal drives. Click out and don't forget, you gotta go in the opposite order. So head out first and adapter out. So again, when we're going in, we want back in first and then motor and adapter locks in like your foot pedal. When we're coming out, we unlock, take out and head out first. Okay, now, this is the same mechanism you would use on your Vibe drive. So on your Vibe drive, you would have, uh, you, you can see already it's a bigger opening, so you probably don't even need to use that, that reduced shroud. But you get in there and you click in. Let me try and do this with one hand. And there would be your uh, J2 motor on a Vibe uh, foot pedal drive uh, system. Okay, so we'll put this back on our Hobie and in a second, I'm gonna show you guys how to hook this up to your battery and get you on your way. Okay, so now that we have our motor in, our, in place, uh, what we wanna do is show you guys how to connect uh, the, your battery and uh, get you set up and on your way. So um, the first question to answer for you is where, where are we gonna put this battery? And that's the question we get asked often. Um, in a lot of the bigger kayaks, you can put the battery under your seat, you can put it in your back hatch. Um, the battery is waterproof. Uh, but you don't want it sitting in a pool of water and you especially don't want to be sitting on top of the battery while it's sitting in a pool of water. Uh, that's not going to be good. So uh, on this kayak, we already know it's not going to fit under the seat, um, but we do want to get it to the back. So I'm going to lift the seat and put the seat away for now so we can show you how that gets to the back. And I'm going to run my wire under the seat and to the back of the kayak. And I'm going to show you guys how to connect this. 
So you have three ports on your PP333 or 378 battery. You have a charging port, an auxiliary port for 12 and 5 volt devices, and then you have your main power port. That's where we're going to go in with our motor. And you'll notice that's got five pins on there that obviously correspond to the five pins on your motor connector. And there are, of course, two little tabs here that you want to get into that groove there so you can lock your connector in properly. And you remember we had that little bit of dielectric grease in our box. And we're going to put a little bit of dielectric grease in there to protect our pins um, because we're near salt water here. So just a little bit of that dielectric grease in there. And we're going to mate our connector. We're going to find our little tabs. They get clicked in, pushed in. And the first couple of times you do this, it's a little bit tougher, but you do need to turn that, that nut about 175 degrees if you want full mating of that connector. And we're done. So we're now connected to our motor. We're going to slide our battery right here. Okay, we want our kill switch to go around and get to our seat. So we can put it on our, you can put this on your life jacket. Uh, you can put it on your wrist, on your legs but you do want the kill switch on you at all times. So if you do fall off, uh, the, the motor, the kayak doesn't take off on you. So there's our kill switch. We're gonna bring it around. Now we're gonna put our seat back. And your remote can either go on your handles and we already have a, a strap here on this one. Uh, you can put your remote on your handles, you can put it on your wrist, obviously, or on your paddle. Uh, and that's it, guys. We are now fully installed with a Bixby J2 motor on this Hobie kayak and ready to go.